You want to race? Huh? <laughs> Come on, baby. Quickie. What's the point? <laughs> it's fun. Nothing crazy. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> That's my girl. Let me just get a little bit. All right. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> what are you shaking your head for? Hey! doesn't want to park next to me. <laughs> Well, welcome back to another video on the Autovlog YouTube channel. I know it's been a little while. I've actually been under the weather for about five days. I don't think it was COVID. Pretty sure it wasn't COVID. Uh, I think people still get colds and regular flus. And I think that's what I had because it wasn't all that bad, but I was just tired. No energy whatsoever. Just staying at home, doing absolutely nothing. So I'm sorry. I've also been waiting around for this F-150 that we're supposed to get last week, but we didn't. We'll talk more about that later in the video. By the way, I hope you guys enjoyed round two of my wife and I randomly bumping into each other in traffic and then going for a race. Uh, the last video that we uploaded was actually pretty popular where I bumped into her in the other AMG that we had, which was the second one. Uh, she was in the Raptor, I was in the AMG. This time around, we were in the W204, and she was still in the Raptor, and I won. She's a good sport though, and I love her for it. By the way, I feel naked. I have no hat and no sunglasses on, but yeah, it's 39 degrees and cloudy slash rainy in Pittsburgh, PA. But before we move along in today's video, I am proud to announce that we have a sponsor in today's upload, and it's a company whose product I've been using for a very long time, and that is Vava Dash Cams. I've had one in the Ferrari since the day I bought this car, and that dash cam was previously in the second AMG that we had. Some of you might remember that like a week before I was supposed to trade that car in for this car, we were in an accident. And thanks to that dash cam right there, I was able to prove that it wasn't my fault. The guy who uh, ran into us tried to say that it was my fault that I ran a red light and so on, which I didn't. The dash cam proved everything. And yeah, this is a weird transition in the video because we're actually uh, warping into the future. I'm sitting here editing uh, the current video you guys are watching. And this happened today. I mean, I can't make this up. I almost got hit at an intersection uh, by a lady, like in my neighborhood. And uh, obviously I caught it on uh, video. So watch this clip and then uh, we'll go back into time and continue the video. doing F***ing stupid old hack what the fuck's wrong with you see what i'm saying now we've had some close calls in the ferrari as well and i thank god that nothing happened but i've had a couple people pull out right in front of me and if something would have happened um <laughs> during those times it's definitely going to help to have a dash cam and thanks to Volvo, we now have one in the AMG as well. Now, what's new for this time around, though, and excuse the mess <laughs> in my car here, is that Volvo offers dual dash cams. So not only are we covered in that direction, we're also covered in that direction. So this is really cool. It also comes with an app. I can choose to watch both dash cams at the same time. So on the right side of the screen here, we got the front dash cam on the left side of the screen. We got the rear one. And then you can go back to just having the front if that's what you want, or just the rear. Now it's extremely easy to install. As you guys know, if you follow this channel, if I can install something, 
anyone can do it. It took me less than half an hour to install and it's got very good resolution as well as you guys can see for the front and the rear camera. Now my rear window is tinted so not as good as on the front one there but uh, this is going to be a lifesaver if anything ever happens, uh, you know a traffic accident or anything like that and there's a dispute of whose fault it was. It's a peace of mind to have a dash cam and I've had the Volvo dash cam for uh, over almost three years I think it is. I vouch for this product right here and that's why I'm happy to have them as a sponsor for today's video. Now the one thing that kind of makes Vava unique is that you can turn it around and not not many dash cams do that. Now Vava is running a special for Thanksgiving so check out the link in the description get a great deal on a dash cam believe me everyone needs one of these I mean it's essential it's a peace of mind to have one that's why I have it. So check out the link in the description and pick one up for yourself Thanks again to Vava for sponsoring today's video. Oh, look at that. The sun's peeking out all of a sudden. I need sunglasses again. <laughs> now, if you guys saw the previous video on the channel, which by the way, it's just kind of weird. It got like 5 million views on Facebook in less than three days. It currently has like right over 100,000 views on YouTube. So, uh, I don't know. YouTube, uh, they're kind of weird. They don't, sometimes I wonder if they like me. Maybe they don't. But either way, I'm blessed beyond belief, so I'm not really complaining. It's just weird how it gets so many views on Facebook and not uh, as many views at all on YouTube. But many times, my videos will start getting views after like two or three weeks. It's very weird. I never get a lot of views right off the bat on YouTube. But anyhow, we put a gallon of vodka in the gas tank. And uh, yeah, it was an interesting experiment. And I haven't started the truck since I backed it up and we came back home after that little 25 mile drive we took with vodka in the gas tank. So I'm gonna try to start it up now and see if it's uh, okay. Oh, oh, sputtering a little bit. <laughs> it's still running. Oh yeah, it's still running. So yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna do another experiment in this truck here uh, and see uh, if maybe, I don't know, we can take Jack Daniels in the gas tank. I don't know, I love this thing. I mean, I bought it for these type of videos. I don't really want it to break, but eventually it will. Like every hoopty on the channel. <laughs> now, while it's nice to not have a fully packed driveway for space, that is, Wifey's at work, Raptor's not here, F-150 usually sits over there. And like we all know, we're waiting for a 2021 F-150 that I thought would possibly arrive last week or this week. But the issue is it's currently built and it's finished and it's actually left the plant. That's what it says in Ford's internal system. Uh, my salesperson is Brandon, who used to be my coworker at Moon Township Ford when I worked there. And uh, I visited him last week to see what the status is. And that's what it's saying. It's uh, built and finished, but it's left the plant. It's basically been held somewhere. And Ford is not releasing any of the new 2021 F-150s for whatever reason. There's something called ready to buy in Ford language. And that basically means that they've gone through all the you know pre-delivery testing make sure that the vehicle is good to go and it's a brand new generation f-150 so i'm sure that they're being a lot more meticulous with everything being perfect but uh you know I, I just want my truck to be here i don't want it to take much longer and during covid and stuff like that maybe it's going to take even longer i'm hoping that it's going to be arriving here within a, a week the latest december Definitely not in January because then I'm buying a 2021 truck in 2021. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm working with. And uh, I know it sucks to have to sit and wait and it's a first world problem. I know you guys want to see content with the truck as well. I want to experience it and uh, make fun videos for you guys. But uh, I've just been sitting around waiting and uh, there's really nothing that uh, we can do. So as, as soon as they get the okay for it to be picked up and shipped, then we're only talking a few days, but we don't know how long that is going to take. But that's the update on the F-150 because I get questions on that all the time. Almost as many questions as I've gotten through the years of what dash cam I use. I mean, everyone wants this F-150 to arrive. 
no one more than me. <laughs> but yeah, there there it is. I, I thought I'd do a little update in this video here because a lot of you guys have been asking, um, and, and that's where it's at. It's built, it's, it's finished, um, but I, I just, it can't be released. I, I can't take the liver yet. But I'll pretty soon, depending on how bad the winter is gonna be, I'll be putting the Ferrari in storage, and then I have a garage space for the AMG over the winter, and then, uh, yeah, depending on how long we're gonna have the Ranger, we still won't have a fully packed driveway. But I don't wanna stand and babble for too long. I know this video wasn't maybe all that action packed. I know there hasn't been uh, that many videos lately. They're coming, I promise. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. Check out the link in the description for the Baba Dash Camps as well. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.